Hello and welcome to part 24 of this tutorial on how to create a full stack website using MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. In this part, we'll create the contact screen, the backend logic with Node Mailer, and finish up the site. To send mail with Node Mailer, you'll need an email account set up. For this, I'm using one with AOL. So let's get started. In the backend routes folder, Create a sendemail.js file. Create an express constant and require express. Create a router constant, then set it to express.router. Create an async handler constant, then require the express async handler. and required node mailer. Create a transport constant, set it to an object, where we'll define the service and authentication for node mailer. I'll set the service to AOL. You can use most of the popular email providers. You might run into an issue where it says you're sending mail with an unsecure app. It's different for each provider, but for AOL, I just had to provide a specific password for that app. Set auth to an object, where I'll set user to process.env.email underscore user, and pass to process.env.email underscore pass. Next, create a transporter constant and set it to nodemailer.createTransport, passing in the transport object, call transporter.verify, with an arrow function, pass error and success as params, then return an object, run an if check on error, in the body, run a console.log, with the error, else console.log, server is ready to take message. Below that, call router.post with a forward slash as the route. Then for the second argument, we'll use the async handler to run an async arrow function, pass in request, response, and next as params, return an object, in the body, destructure from the request.body, then pull out name, email, phone, and gig, create a content constant, and set it to a template string, I'll set name to a placeholder with name, then create a line break with a backslash followed by the letter N. Set email to a placeholder with email, then do the same for phone and gig. Create a mail constant and set it to an object, where I'll set from to process.env.email underscore user, to to info at example.com, subject to new message from contact form, and set text to the content. Below mail, call transporter.sendmail, passing in mail for the first argument, then an arrow function for the second, with error and data as params. In the body, run an if check on error. Before moving on, 
I passed in request, request, and next as params. That should be request, response, and next. For the if check in the body, call res.json, passing in an object, set message to fail, else call res.json with an object, set the message to success. Now at the bottom, set the module.exports to router. In the server.js file, we need to use the email route. So require the send email route. Then call app.use, passing in slash API slash send for the main route, and send email as the second param. Now in the .env file, create the email underscore user and email underscore pass constants. Now you need to set them to the username and password for the email account you're using to send with NodeMailer. In the screens folder, create another folder for the contact screen. Create the index and CSS files. For the index, create a basic React component and name it contact screen. Import use state from React. Axios from Axios. Bring in the form field component. The loader component. And the classes object. Now from the edit blog screen, copy the form state, form config, form elements array, and the input change handler. Then bring them into the contact screen. For the form state, change the first entry to name, then email, phone, and gig. Below that, create some state with loading submit and set loading submit. With a default of false. For the form config, change the first entry to name, then email, phone, and gig. Change the placeholders to name, email, phone, and gig description. Then change the phone type to input. Below the input changed handler, create a submit handler, setting it to an async arrow function with E as a param. In the body, call e.preventDefault. We'll come back to that. Give the return div a class name of classes.screen underscore container. Pass in an h1 that says get started. Then a form with a class name of classes.form. Set on submit to the submit handler. Now from the edit blog screen, copy the JSX where we map through the form elements and the submit button, then bring it into the contact screen form. Add some JSX where we check loading submit. If it's true, return the loader component Else, return the submit button. Now back in the submit handler, 
set loading submit to true. Destructure from form state. Then get name, email, phone, and gig. Create a try catch block. In the try, await axios.post. Pass in forward slash API slash send for the route. Then pass in an object for the second param with name, email, phone, and gig. After the post, console.log message sent. In the catch block, console.log message failed to send. Below that, Set loading submit to false. And we're done with the index. I'll paste in the CSS, which you can find at the link in the description. In the main app.js file, import the contact screen. Copy down the gallery screen route, switching the path to slash contact and the component to the contact screen. In the blog actions file, we don't need these imports. Then in the update blog action, I forgot to pass in config as the second param. In the login screen index, I won't be using the error constant. That should be all the warnings. Now with the layout, in the footer index.js file, I set this up wrong, remove the key from the unordered list, and pass it to the list item. Remove the unordered list, then add an opening tag right before the JSX. At the bottom, remove the UL opening tag that's above the contact link. Now all screens are done, and the site looks pretty good. That's the last part for now. Next I'll be working on a beginner's React tutorial. Thanks for watching.